In this tutorial series, you learn how to read and write to a file in your Android app, as shown in this demo. Let's get started. So really quickly for the layout of the app, you can go ahead and pause the video to copy the code I have here. It's pretty much uh, an edit text, two buttons, and a text view to display the text from the file. And it's all inside of a relative layout. In my main activity, I have the objects for the buttons, the write button and read button, the text view where we display the text in the file, and the input edit text where the user can type in what they want to save in the file. So over here, I have on-click listeners for both the buttons, and this string content basically contains the, the text the user has entered into the, in, into the edit text over here. Now for the part where we actually write to the file, which is what we're going to cover in this tutorial, we're going to create a function called write to file. And this function will take in two parameters. It'll take in the name of the file that we want to write to. So we'll just call it file.txt for this project. And then the second parameter it takes in is the actual content to write. Now this is an important part where we actually write to the file. So we'll create our function called write to file. And its two parameters are the file name and the content that we want to put into the file. We're going to get a directory where the file will be saved by saying file path. So this is where it'll be saved. It's going to be equal to get application context dot get files dir and the dir st stands for a directory. Now we're going to create a file output stream object which will write to a file. So we're going to create it'll be called writer, and it'll be a new file output stream. You can see that one of the parameters if you do control p is a file that we want to write to. So the file that we want to write to is we're going to create a new file object, and then for this file um, constructor there are two parameters we're going to provide it with the path on which the file will be located. And we have that path variable over here. So we're going to type in path. And the second thing that we're going to give it is the actual name of the file, which is one of the parameters for a function called file name. And now we have a writer object. You can see it's in red because we have to surround it with a try and catch block. So if you do alt enter, Android Studio will add that in for you. And now we have our writer object. So we can go ahead and write to the file. And you can see that the write function requires a byte array. Right now, what we have is a string called content. So in order to write the string to the file, we're going to say content.getBytes. And this gives us the byte array that we want to write into the file. And now that the file has been written to, we can say writer.close and close this file output stream. Just to verify that we have successfully written to the file, we can go ahead and make a toast. So toast.makeText, get application context, wrote to file. And then we can provide the file name, toast.length short, and then dot show. And we can go ahead and run this now. Now we have our app here, and I'm going to go ahead and type into the edit text something like subscribe to IJ apps. And we'll go ahead and press the write to file button. And when I press it, this little toast appears saying wrote to file, file.txt. And that's because we have this toast appearing inside of our function. And this is all the code that you need to write to a file in Android. You need the path where you're going to save the file, the actual file name, and use the file output stream object to write the content that you want to put into the file. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Make sure to subscribe to get notified when the next tutorial on reading from a file comes out. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.